to make some boxes out of uh, templates we sent you. And they were gorgeous templates of various Madonna in the flowers. And you've got a cutter guide and you literally cut out all around. And then also you need to cut down so that you form the top flaps of the box. It's very easy to do. You can do it with scissors or with um, a scalpel and rule, whatever suits you. But this I actually do with scissors. And what we're going to do is fold and everything you need as a guide is here because you're folding to match where you cut for the flaps that go in at the top of the box. So again, nice neat fold. I've actually just um, printed this out on very, very basic photocopy paper and it's thin, it's easy to use. If you want something that's got a bit more um, robustness and also maybe richer for printing out better quality, then go for it. A medium, a matte heavyweight would be lovely. And you can see, you simply fold and that's getting you the box shape. This is the only part that needs some glue. I did try and find, and I very successfully found, a guide for making a box with no glue at all. And it was lovely, but after sort of 20 minutes of giggling and getting a right old muddle with it, I thought maybe, maybe that's not the one to do today. And then we want to do some folds for the top. The nice thing about doing this is that you can be contemplative. You know, you might look at it and think, oh my goodness, that was a bit tricky. And actually, it's very simple. It's cutting, folding, and a little bit of glue. And in the process of doing this, you discover something about the picture or you just switch off for a few minutes and relax but you can see from what i'm doing that this isn't tricky you can do it <laughs> and then finally you have your box shape for me a couple more folds um, on the top you've got that line here that's going to be so that you can tuck in the top flap and you have the same at the bottom. The same here. So that goes there. And then with some scissors, you just want to take away a little diagonal cut. We've all opened enough boxes to be familiar with these shapes, but that helps you tuck in that top flap. Very simple to do. Now for the glue. And that is the only bit that needs the glue. So a little schmiddle of glue along that. Along there. double-sided tape if you don't have the glue and then you're literally folding it to attach and guide it up and it's actually quite simple because the folds are already there to guide you and you follow along to get it in place and then turn it on its side and you just on the inside, make sure it's sticking. And there you have it. Fold in, fold in, tuck, tuck. You have a little box. And I'll just quickly show how that's what you're aiming to get. These are the folds you're making. You're going to glue. This is an old bit of glue, so it might not stick. But that's what you're doing when you're making the box. And then you've got a little collection. Have fun.